Hey guys, we're going to test the practicality of the GR86. I know many journalists and even most consumers might be thinking about can this be a practical daily sports car? Although there are some figures, it says 227 litres of boot space, but oh, none of that actually matters. So here we are doing a real world consumer test. I'm actually moving my house right now. So this is a practical way to find out how practical is the GR86, okay? If you're looking for the best protection for your car, look no further to expel. I put my cars through harsh conditions like constant B road blasting, road trips, and occasional track days, and I want my car to look the best. And Expel's Ultimate Plus Paint Protection Films never fail to protect the paint on my cars while keeping it looking amazing. All Expel's products, including prime window tints, come with an official e warranty from the manufacturer, which gives me an additional confidence and maximum peace of mind when using their products. And this allows me to be fully present and enjoy all my experiences with my cars wherever I go and whatever I do. Click the link in the description below to find out more about Expel's products and their official dealers in Malaysia. Protect everything you love with Expel. So first of all, the boot space isn't that big, but I got a lot of things to fit inside. I got my luggage, I got a couple of water machines, you know. I've got this little gift from Bobby, it's a, you know, a little six cylinder boxer engine fan thing and I know my washing and my washing supplies, car wash supplies, engine oil, also my pressure washer. This emulates like a car guy's stuff to move around, okay? So let's just try to fit it all in the car but in the first glance, it may seem impossible. So we're going to figure this out together. Now first and foremost, the boot space is kind of shallow but it's a, a little bit deep. It's like half the space of a golf's boot. Okay, so, you know, while this car is more fun to drive than a Golf, the Golf would in definitely beat it in its practicality, right? So, but can we still make it work? Let's try it, right? So we're going to have to pull the rear seats down. And let's see if I can do something about that. Now, I've not done it yet. This is my first time doing it. And it also tests how intuitive this whole thing is. Ah, all right. Okay, there you go. Push this down. Voila, we got a flat surface behind. Okay, now the rear seats are actually really small. And you can see that that's my driving position. You know, it's really for kids and even kids will complain because realistically the feet will go underneath. Okay, after the seats has been fold down, you can see that there is a spare tire which kind of reduced the practicality because it kind of, you know, pops out. We've got an emergency kit as well, so kind of doubtful. Let's see how this plays out. I think the biggest one needs to go in. So that's my luggage and those are my clothes. All right. So I could have popped it from the front. <laughs> All right. Okay. Flies. Uh oh Now that's a real problem. Now you see, because the lip is kind of small, you can't really get large items. And this box isn't that large either, right? It's as high as an engine oil, right? So it's starting to have a problem. Hmm. Probably have to come in from the front. Let's try that. Whew! Hot day, huh? This is fine. I got my picture in. And there's still space. It's not actually bad. It's actually not that bad. I could still fit in more things. Look at that. And if I so wish to, I can use the front seat. Okay, so it's actually not that bad. But with that, I'm gonna get in the car, then go to the place where I'm unloading this and talk a little bit more about the how the car is to drive practically around the road, okay? So there you go. It's actually pretty practical for a sports car. Now, I know some of you are probably thinking, hey, you know, it's a, you know, you can only fit two people here. I think the demographic of people who own this car 
number one let's say it's your only car then you probably don't have kids okay and so it's completely fine okay and even if you might have this car and have kids you probably don't want to fetch your kids around this car anyways but the point is this it's actually pretty practical and i think it's because of the folded uh, space i think the rear seat space is more suitable as your you know secondary boot space you fold it up you can throw your bag behind there uh, so it gives you like an additional cabin space for your for your goods okay yeah thank you so much toyota you know you, you're helping my move uh, i'll be honest between my alpine and my spider this is probably the most practical car <laughs> right now okay so real world test pass okay. take in mind as well you can't compare this with a golf because that has four doors and it's a hot hatch okay but as a sports car and as a sports car user myself I think this is actually pretty good. So I've been driving this car around a little bit and one thing I really like is how visible the surroundings are with this car. You know, it's ample space front and side and even the rear, as you can see, has a really big window as compared to my Spider. I've got this little convertible, you know how convertibles are, we have a little space up there, little, little box there and for my Alpine is also non-existent. So I get really good visibility. Sitting position is nice, but because of the dash being a little bit higher, it may feel like you don't have a lot of vision, but even in the lower sitting position, like this is my height, I can still guess where my front is. Anyways, do you think the front reminds you of a Porsche kind of like hump? Let me know in the comments if you think like that. But basically it's easy, and that gives you not only the visibility, but it's easy to position and easy to guesstimate where your car is and that's very important in traffic again this is a for some people or most people is the only one car that they have so it's easy to get around town you can nip around town easy to park easy to drive as i've experienced so very practical in that sense so a plus in that department um the glove box okay it's not that deep but you have you no know, they, they combine the center console together with the coffee Cup. And I think it's pretty smart. And, and I, some of you are probably thinking, hey, this is not that genius, but it, it is very smart. Hear me out. Okay, normally we have coffee cups, holders, and then we have a place to store things. Or it's always one or the other. Like for Porsche, for example, in my Boxster, we only have a little thing here, and then we've got to pull this thing out, right? But here, you can have both, right? So if you have your coffee, you can you know move the things aside, chuck it and chuck it on the side, and then have your coffee be around here, okay? If not, you can put your things back in. You want to hide them, you can hide them. Okay, you can put your touch and go smart tag over here. Put your wallet all over here. You can put your power bank. Or you can all fit it inside here or fit it in there. All very, very nice and spacious. Okay, and uh, that's actually pretty darn good. Okay, love box. Never checked it out. I think it's okay. It's not huge, but I just find that this little thing is like, well, I don't know. I just feel like they kind of like a waste of space. But then again not a deal breaker but i think it's very smart and then a very big cubby to put your cups very very practical and what i like about this as well is that you know because this has a recess over here it gives you another sensation that the car is bigger than it is okay now let's go to the exterior and show you one more thing of why i think this car is very practical which is this the wheel arch now i know this is not accurate because the car is sliding down on the slope but this car has a very healthy wheel arch. Now you can see, even though it's going downwards, it's more than two fingers, probably even three and a half fingers. I think it should be four fingers of height. Okay, I don't know how much in actual inches, but the point is it's pretty large and some people don't like it, but I think it's a good thing. You know, if you own sports cars, you know, you probably experience scraping your car around. But with this car, I have not had that issue at all. I, nothing scares me, no hums, bums, you know, anything scares me at all. It's just easy to get through, okay? And yet inside the car with this height, you never felt it's too high. So that's a very important part of having the car being a practical daily sports car. Coming from a sports car owner myself, all right? So practicality-wise, thumbs up.